hey guys welcome to our youtube channel as you may already know i'm evidence and you are i'm marco the one and only and the better half <laughs> yeah so we do have our our facebook page it's called the museum becoming the museanos so we'll leave a link below and please do like our facebook page and also we do have a, our instagram which is like two two days old i think it's called evidence and marco we'll also leave a link below for you guys to just click follow us subscribe and so forth uh so today we'll be talking about um ways how to finance or budget for your wedding basically we're not the pros but i mean we've got experience because i mean we had to budget for our wedding in a short space of time it's a very long haul and so and at times very stressful so so i just want to uh, just want to kind of clear up on a couple of things so well for, uh, so to budget a wedding it can be very very stressful and you need to know what can you afford and what can you not afford and what can you what can you keep or what can you cut out yeah so i think as he has said you must just always like think about the deal breakers you know everyone has a deal breaker like, you know, I know that, okay, my dress had to be, like, perfect and all those other things. And and it was, I think it was perfect. I mean, it's, and you need to think about your cake. Like, how much are you willing to spend at the end of the day? Bearing in mind that the cake, it needs to be beautiful. But at the end of the day, you don't want to pay, like, uh, 20000 or even if 10000 I feel like it's a little bit too much for a wedding cake so perhaps maybe at the end of this video we'll just include some of the pictures of our wedding cake maybe also how we look like the wedding dress so anyway just to let you know guys i we do have an online shop though, though you know business and more especially if you're doing it part-time it has its ups and downs so like we had our own website and then we had like some a bit of complications you know so we didn't have like full control and we had paid a lot of money but guys we yeah we can help you if you want to purchase stuff in bulk for your wedding like your bridesmaids gowns uh so i'll try to also maybe find a picture for my bridesmaids the the gowns that they wore or perhaps if i don't want to include their pictures i can show you the pictures how they look and also i do sell wedding dresses so my wedding dress was from my online shop which was very beautiful and uh i yeah currently on stock i do have some corsages so it's corsages for those who do not know it's those little flower thing for for the guys yes yeah we do have those and um yeah so you have to sit down guys and i mean for us i feel like we planned our wedding in less than six six months in less than six months yeah and <laughs> it's funny guys when we kind of like started we 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 had like ten thousand i think uh of 15. Ten... no it wasn't 15 or think... somewhere in between yeah after the lobola thing we basically didn't have money anymore and 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 uh, i think we we for us we firstly tried to find sponsorship from companies like coca-cola or spare all those other uh, companies but due to COVID, we know we that we weren't winning yeah we were not winning you know due to COVID, like a lot of companies have lost sales they've lost I mean they've they're they, like they've made loss they've retrained so they basically did not have money to sponsor weddings so so if maybe you are going to be watching this after COVID, or maybe you will be lucky to get a company that can sponsor it. that's one of the ways that you can try to sponsor your wedding to apply for sponsorship or to enter some competitions because i've seen online sometimes you can enter competitions as a, a bride and a groom after obviously your engagement maybe you might have to do like an engagement shoot or tell your story how you met and make it like exciting and th those are some of the chances but they're not guaranteed guys i mean basically you left to like win you know mm. though you might enter but you might not win so these are just some of the things that you might try it out but you still have to budget because it's not guaranteed 
uh another thing that i maybe must just add from my side is that you'll have to you know talk to your family you know your uncles maybe you've got that rich aunt rich uncle to tell them about your your plans and everything some of them if they do have enough money they might ask you know do you want some help or blah 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 and then some of them they might put a ten thousand and five thousand it really helps guys like with us we were so blessed that like more especially marcos family from overseas like wow they really help like big time someone put like you know maybe a five thousand there ten and two thousand there and that and that it really helps a mm. lot every and, uh, not only the big stuff helps even the little things mm. uh, that the little things help i mean some a lot of most people say it's it's the big things that counts but to be honest it's uh, even a lot of the times, even the smallest things can make the biggest of difference. Yeah, it does, guys. Because also, you need to think about where you can cut costs, guys. Definitely do. So with your your decoration, you have to get as many quotations as possible. Plan ahead. You know, it helps you to think about the budget. Fine. Okay, not too much because it's, it's going to overwhelm you. But maybe five quotations or so start comparing what you can cut out because it's all about if you've got more things then you you know that okay i can cut there and there like um yeah so obviously i know for some of us maybe fresh flowers are very important and those are like really expensive we had like nice fresh flowers which we ended up not even if maybe taking after the wedding because i think other people do maybe share with their guests mm -hmm. which is something that we forgot because they were very very beautiful and we paid a lot for those flowers so but i'm just saying that those is something that is just there on the pictures maybe sometimes the video guys the video and the camera guys they're not capturing as much but if you feel like maybe you can have less fresh flowers maybe have a th three per table but as we really have like a lot which i think it really uh, costed us a lot but still we negotiated with the oh i negotiated <laughs> i negotiated with the decoration lady to try where can we cut we i mean i think we we've we've saved about i don't know uh maybe four to five thousand through the negotiations and that's a big difference and i think we we basically should have saved up more because after we've paid for like 100 people and then they've cut to uh to 50 people but then 50 to 60 yeah because 50, of COVID. yeah co cause of covid but then I, I i tried to want to include more people outside during the matrimonial to tell her to add maybe about 70 which other people just decided not to pitch anymore and we had we had already paid for that and i think she was also supposed to give us some refund but i guess because some of her stuff broke due to wind and other things i we just decided to let it go but i'm just saying that negotiating is it really helps and also to tell the decoration person this is this is how much i'm willing to spend for decoration and then they kind of like they will help you where we can cut out okay this is not as necessary if maybe you need the the confetti and stuff like that do you really want the confetti or can you make confetti for yourself like i've made confetti for myself so confetti for those who do not know is those kind of like rose petals some they call them rose petals or you can use rice yeah but ugh, rice no i don't think that's, that's nice rice no nah. yeah but i think most ladies i mean they enjoy flowers rice no no like i like can use flowers so you cut yourself those colorful papers so yeah it's either rose petal or confetti but confetti is more it's not usually it's not the flowers it's the cut papers or something like that so i think it's all about all those break deals all those break deals so if you feel like okay you really obviously no you cannot have a wedding without a cake i believe so it's very important to have the cake so you know that okay your cake needs to be beautiful but how much are you willing to spend as well and get so many quotations from the uh the cake guys sure i find it i can uh, i can speak <laughs> i had to pinch her leg to uh, her leg just to stop <laughs> When she gets on a roll, she she uh, uh, she's like, she, I don't know if you don't, don't know this movie. She's like that uh, that train uh, from that movie called Unstoppable. That's her. So <laughs> so yeah. So speaking about the cake, like it also depends on the ingredients. Now, 
mo most people will go for the traditional fruit cake. Uh, I think is fruit cake cheaper? No, it's expensive. Uh, well, it's expensive, um, but uh, luckily we luckily we didn't go for the fruit cake. And besides, who likes fruit cake anyway? It's, yeah, it's a lot of people. Nice. People are gonna kill you guys. Please comment below and let us know if you do enjoy fruit cakes. We don't like fruit cakes. We hate fruit cakes. Yeah, but I know most of my friends love like your carrot cakes and. Mm, mm, That's man. not nice. No. So, and also, it also depends on the outer layer of the cake, like... If it's fondant or I it's mean, naked, you know. I mean, fondant is nice. It does make the cake look more beautiful, but fondant is expensive. Yeah, and we went for fondant. <laughs> but, uh, but, with, uh, but with negotiations. Yeah, yours. so initially I wanted a naked cake because I, I, it's not necessarily about the... I didn't know if, that it was cheaper beforehand but i always love naked cakes the way they were made because yeah uh but yeah we ended up going for 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 fondant because yeah we we negotiated and we got a lady who was really good and she was also Reasonable. under yeah uh, understanding and plus we didn't have a fruit cake so it was the normal uh your chocolate whatever yes so uh... Uh, so also when it comes to finding uh, how could i put it this way your supplier like whether it's a decoration uh, decoration guy or or the cake person you also need to find which one is like a good a, obviously who does a good job but it's also reasonably priced you don't want to find i, be, I believe that it's so unnecessary to just to find a this you know, this one person this uh, one uh, cake baker uh, that oh but he's got a nice cake factory or a lovely restaurant or he he looks the type but he charges an arm and a leg appearance uh, appearances um, uh, it's not about the appearance of the cake supplier or the decoration person it's about uh, the end product the end it's about the end, pro end product i mean you could get like a person that's that uh, that doesn't have a nice looking bake shop or... Oh, maybe they work from home. Yes, well, they work from home, but they could make awesome cakes or decorate awesome weddings. And it's not only that, it's also the... It's also the suits and the, uh, the suits for for yourself and the... And the uh, it's also for the groom suits and the bride and the bride dress. And there are... There are beautiful suits and beautiful dresses out there, but you just need to d dig a bit deeper on on, with, on to find the right amount for your budget. I mean, why spend 10, 15,000 on a on a wedding dress just because it's just because it's got. 10 karat gold lining on it or something yeah guys so yeah for those that really are i think for those that are in south africa it's going to be like even if much easier for us to be like in contact if you need some help with like your shopping because i feel like it's good to shop much area you don't want to be waiting for your dress and then it's like uh, uh, the wedding it's it's on saturday and you are still waiting for your dress on monday so you need to purchase your stuff three months before the wedding you just want to forget about you don't want unnecessarily stress three guys. or four months even four months just even to if be four safe months, yeah guys even if four months just to be safe so what i will do i'll just make some time to gather some uh wedding dresses that i uh that my supply supplies me with and so the wedding dresses that i'm going to include it's going to be between uh between three thousand and five thousand so yes, uh, so yes, so please, uh, co please contact uh, uh, Evidence, on, uh, and she'll definitely help you with the wedding dresses. Yes, okay. and also I wanted to. She's the lady for the job. Yeah, and also uh, the suits as well. Uh, so my suits, the wedding suits, I I do have a supply already in South Africa. Very beautiful, three piece suits. So I'll also just include the pictures for those. Um, yeah. So you'll just contact me. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll leave my email address or something like that. And it takes only 
five five to seven i mean three to seven days to deliver the wedding um suits however the wedding dresses you will need three weeks so we now we've covered uh, th this part now we're getting to the nitty gritty the deep stuff now so at the end of the day guys mainly for you know, future bride and groom at the end of the day this is your wedding yeah you don't you don't buy in to to the to what people say oh okay do this do that do that oh you need to buy this you need to buy you need to buy that this is your wedding no one else's plain and simple try not don't complicate things i mean yes you do have you do have friends and family that can advise you but don't uh, how could I put it this way? But uh, don't have those unnecessary people that tell you stuff that's unnecessary. Like, for example, oh, you gotta have ten disco ball, oh, <laughs> ten disco balls, and a tent here, and a tent here, yeah. a, a cake, <laughs> or, or oh, you have to have a thousand people in your wedding. No, that's unnecessary. Because remember, the more people you have. Uh, the more people you have, the more it's going to hurt your pocket. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's, I think it's kind of half and half uh, that the bride and the groom pays for the wedding, or the or the or the parents pay for the wedding. It's kind of half and half, but mostly the parents pay for the wedding. So, but the most important part about financing your wedding: do not get into debt. Yeah. Because of your wedding. Yeah. Rather cut certain things out for to not get into debt. Like either cut down, uh, you know, maybe cut down a, cu uh, a bouquet of flowers or two. Or rather not uh, cut out of alcohol or maybe cut uh, maybe 5, 10, 15 people uh, in order for you got, uh, for the couple not to get into but uh, not to start their marriage in debt because starting your marriage in debt is the worst there will be fight, there will be early fights and arguments and not only uh, the bride and the groom but also the parents don't don't get your parents into debt yeah cuz it's like uh, cuz uh, it's not uh, first and it's not and it's not of the lord it's it's not of the lord to to borrow money just because of a of the wedding it's it's not godly, if I could put it that way. So, so yes, and and uh, just want to speak about uh, alcohol. Is that you can have fun at a at a function or at a friend's place or at a wedding, even without alcohol. Like it's something that you need that maybe. You, if, if you, you guys, the future bride and groom, should uh, sit down and have a, a real consideration. Is it worth having the alcohol? Because remember, this is your wedding. You're not there to become people pleasers. Mm -hmm. It's uh, between the bride and the groom and God. The the pyramid. The pyramid. The bride and the groom over here and God, meeting uh, meeting upwards. And. So, because literally, like with alcohol, like it's, uh, with uh, w with alcohol, so so yes, uh, it's uh, it's also quite expensive. But if you guys think you can afford it, and and maybe perhaps it's maybe it's best for the guests to pay for their own booze in order to save your guys' fi finances and budgets for the wedding, then that's fine. But I w I wouldn't recommend. Uh, having alcohol at a wedding yeah so guys um yes yeah, so i just want to correct something getting alone is not a sin because my husband just said it's ungodly i don't think it's a sin because we do have loans for cars for house getting alone it's not a sin at all but we don't recommend it so i just I think wanna, i got over excited yeah there. i think my I just, apologies i just want to make that one clear getting alone is not ungodly and it's not in the bible that you shouldn't borrow but when you borrow you need to return isn't it we, we pay what we borrow um but we do not recommend getting into debt like i mean we thought that if the west come to the west we're gonna use my credit card because for the company i worked 
for you have to have like a credit card when you like, hire a car because then it's easier it's not as complicating you know and all of that because it was like a small company so i had that credit card which like i never really used the money at all. but we thought if the worst come to the worst we're gonna use that credit card which was good to have that because sometimes you might plan and you think everything is gonna be all right and everything will be sorted you find out that you are short the five thousand or then there, there which i think it kind of like happened to us because my mom had promised to give us some cash for a, like a wedding gift so she actually sent us that money before the wedding like a few days before the wedding so we had a bit of a hiccup as well at the day of the wedding then there's like a 2.7 almost 3,000 i had to pay that i didn't budget for so i'm just saying that if for an example you have a credit card make sure you don't spend and spend on that credit card before the wedding have it maybe as a backup should something as a worst case scenario yeah as a worst case scenario because the thing there's just so much so much that you have to do uh, on the wedding and 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 sometimes maybe you had that checklist or maybe if it was written that checklist disappears so you can always check your stuff and you need to really ha have like your maid of honor if you're a lady your maid of honor needs to be very sharp she needs to you need to be very close such that such that she's able to ask you so many questions because sometimes like me i'm the one who planned the wedding so i basically planned every okay not like every everything like uh maybe the bachelor party or and my and my bridal party but when it comes to the wedding i plan like the cake later i i found it myself the decoration the all the research and and, and all those other things i found it like myself i plan and try to think and i to be honest I had planned my my friend's wedding in the past so i think a little bit of that experience really helped me and i had planned so many parties like your baby shower so it really helped me a lot but if you can afford a wedding planner i would recommend to do it because then you won't have so much stress like i did though at the end of the day wedding planner will have to consult you because it's your wedding at the end of the day they'll have to ask you what you want blah 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 they can't just decide without you but i feel like it can help you a lot or if you have you've got that friend who's good at planning help her i mean ask appoint her as the wedding planner like my friend back in the days she had appointed me as a wedding planner because she knows i can plan parties and my friends they really love me a lot and i know they've been there emotionally supportive and everything but it's not their thing to really like plan parties and stuff like that. so if you have that those friends that wow they just love planning stuff it's easier ha have them involved to help you you know uh so yeah with me i was the one who's buying a lot of things because i'm the i've got an online shop you know so i've also know where things are cheap so i had to do a lot of those things uh yeah and we do have um a google article here which maybe if we left something from our experience we can quickly just run across to see what they have said so they are talking about five things to consider when financing your wedding. So I'll do number one, you'll do two and, and vice, versa. vice versa. Okay. So I'm starting with number one. They say set priorities. What are your most important dreams for the day? Set your deal breakers for the event and organize your budget around that, which I think we've already mentioned. Mm -hmm. You need to set your priorities. If you know, okay, I cannot compromise on my dress okay it's fine but still i mean you don't have to spend ten thousand i didn't have to spend ten thousand on my beautiful wedding dress and i know it was beautiful i don't know if you maybe disagree but on my eyes it was really beautiful so yeah number two look ahead that tower of a cake is breathtaking but for the same price of that cake you could have purchased furniture for your new place or maybe even covered rent you do not want to start your marriage with financial strain due to an excessive wedding so this one is also very good so uh, so you uh, and it kind of links to deal breakers because let me use a wedding cake again for example uh, just to, just to make appearance simple uh, like don't spend 10 15 no, 20 thousand on a uh, on a wedding cake i mean you could put half of that money on like either either a nice couch or a brand new fridge or, 
or even or, or even as a rent deposit yeah and then number three it says be re realistic guys um think about your budget in light of this in light of this average and speak to recently married friends about what they spend to give yourself a re re realistic re oh gosh english again give yourself a real realistic uh, benchmark to aim for oh, english almost killed me there guys like really wants to disappoint me embarrass me in front of you <laughs> but we know guys it happens anyway so you know you have to speak to the mar the recently married uh, couples like did i do that mm. i think i didn't but i mean i've planned my friend's wedding like I was it like two years ago yeah i think it was two years ago so i had like an idea and like i'm saying i do have an online shop so i see where you are being robbed where you're being robbed you pay for a ten thousand wedding and actually i don't think you have to pay ten thousand so guys i'm not an expert but i'm also your girl if you want to consult i know where you can find nice cheap things you know like you know <laughs> yeah and yeah so now uh, I've uh, skimmed through number four, and it kind of links to uh, what what uh, we recently uh, said before. So number four says, "Get help. Friends and family members may be willing to provide financial support or help out on a big day. A friend may a friend may DJ as a wedding gift, or for example. So with this one." Don't be afraid uh, no, to uh, to ask uh, to ask friends and family members uh, no, to for uh, for help. Like if you if you're in a bit of a financial strain, then uh, but if there's a friend or a relative you know who's 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 very good at uh, at being a, a DJ or 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 even uh, no or or who can even decorate a wedding for you and they can give you like. A friend, a friend discount, or, or, or you might have that, that uh, cousin who, who's a very good um, MC. I don't know what it's called in for, in full. Uh, master of ceremony. Master ceremony, but he's got a very good voice. He can uh, keep the crowd entertained and busy. Then, and if you and if you and, and he might, then there's a chance he might do it absolutely for free. Uh, to say, then by all means don't be afraid and it's also and it's the best to go for friends and family members who are experienced in wedding planning or who have got married and they, and they know and they understand the stress of, of the wedding yeah and number five still says be realistic guys so it says do not let your spending surprise you down the line use online or mobile banking tools to monitor your your expenses so you don't basically obviously if you there are some of the apps that you can download but i'm just saying that if you're not tech savvy you don't have to worry oh i'm not tech savvy what about this point basically your diary you know how much you've spent like i mean like i don't know a lot of things like i could remember i remember how much i've paid for this and that so sometimes i wasn't like writing them but down the line maybe every, every like a month i write okay we spent so much on 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 this and that and that we know how much you spend already so an estimate you can tell that okay because it's not always about that cake only it's not always about that decoration only you know that wedding suit the makeup the, the rings the rings the it's it just adds up guys it adds up and adds up so if for an example you feel like oh my gosh you are panicking now perhaps maybe you don't have money for the rings i mean you can always go open up an account which is interest free for for six months which is basically what we did because i mean american swiss had like a crazy special i think it was like 50 percent off 50 percent off on both our rings yeah and we we, we so we, we saved 50 percent yeah we didn't have money when it oh we saw like crazy special we didn't have money to just pay. i think i think we saved like two and a half three thousand yeah we didn't have money so what we did i applied for the american swiss card and then that's how we got our rings and, and all of this so guys it really helps to weigh your options and there's no right or wrong the way maybe we might have done things we don't be exactly how you have done things but at the end of the day budget is important priorities 
are important what you can afford what you, you cannot afford what are the things that your friends can help if you know that oh, your friend is just a great make makeup artist and she will be invited on the wedding she can always come and make up you guys maybe the price will be like cheaper because then you have to don't you don't have to go for like a expensive company that they do make up then they're gonna charge you a lot of money so guys i think i think that's pretty much it mm -hmm. so we're just gonna wrap things up so once again most importantly this is the most important part of this video don't forget to like subscribe click the notification bell for the latest uh, videos and yes but, mo but most importantly subscribe we need them subscribers yeah so guys like i said i'm going to be putting down a link firstly for our uh for our facebook page our instagram and perhaps i'll also maybe put some of the link for uh the wedding dresses that we sell but what i will do i'll put some of the pictures so that you can see on this video some of the wedding dresses uh that that i i supply you guys with. so i said wedding dresses you you need to have about three weeks and then the suits are quite local here in south africa so it's going to be very quick which is they just say a week and then also remember we do for we do also help people all over africa i mean there's so many shipping companies and with the wedding dresses i actually import them so if you basically want a wedding dress and you are in lesotho or you are in uh in other parts of africa and so forth when i order from my suppliers they will ship it directly to you all you have to give me is your measurements so guys i'm really excited about this and please let us know what kind of videos you would like us to do uh if maybe we didn't include something that you wanted to hear from this video love you lots all the best and bye 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 guys bye. take care hey hey guys so uh this is basically the pictures that i promised you guys for the wedding dresses and the suits so the wedding dresses that i've included here is between three thousand and five thousand the range and then all the suits uh also are quite cheap so the suits are between a thousand a thousand and two and and, and two thousand um yeah so guys uh please do enjoy and what i'm going to do as well i've included a link here for some of our uh wedding dresses so guys and 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 please do take care and and enjoy this let me know what you think guys bye